Hi guys, Dominique here with Beauty on a Budget. Um, so it's very early this morning. I just got um, done getting ready for work. As you can see, I actually have eyeshadow on today for work, if you can see that. So the whole concept of this video today is the Hello Kitty palette, which is actually what I use today. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because there's a lot of people out there I know that have said some bad things about the Hello Kitty palette. Me, myself, have not had a problem with this palette. And that is from somebody that will use any sort of eyeshadow available. I use palettes from Ulta. I have palettes from Walmart, palettes from Target, um, Alf palettes. I even have used MAC before in the past. So I think that this is a very good product. Um, for those of you who have never seen it before, it looks like this. It is... Um, I believe you can get it from Sephora or QVC. I actually got this as a Christmas gift from Raina, my sister. And let's see. In the back, it sort of has... It doesn't say the colors. It just gives an idea of what you're going to expect inside. It has the eyeshadows on this side. The lip gloss is on this side. And it has this brush right here. Um, it doesn't really... Like, I'm not able to label the colors. There's some soft pinks, some purples. There's some pinks with, like, a bluish undertone. There's some black and glittery blacks. I usually stick to the darker colors for the outside of my eye. In this case, I used this brown right here because it is, like a, like, a dark but, like, a brownish color. So I decided to use that. So I'll open it so you guys can see. As you can see, there's some colors that I've used more than others. There's some colors that I haven't used at all. I typically use um, this color and this one as my um, base for my whole eyelid. I use this brown one a lot. Um, and then this green one too. This green one is the one that I have in the um, middle of my eye, closer to the base color that I use, which is up here. And then I use this brown right here to give the outside. Um, let me lift the light up so you can see. So, I don't know if you can see better. So then I have the base color right here, the whole lid of my eye. Then I have this green, sort of like a glittery hunter green color in the middle. And then I have this brown glittery gold color on the outside. And then I blended it in with a little bit of this color right here. It's like a light gold. Um, some of these, I think the reason why people complain about these is because some colors aren't as dark as they appear. Like this green color right here, you would expect this to be like super green, like maybe the color of my shirt. It doesn't come out that green. It's light, but however, it works perfect for me. Just because it's not as dark doesn't mean it's not pigmented. They're very pigmented colors. I haven't experienced anything with the lip glosses yet. I haven't... Um, I haven't used those, although I can probably try to use one right now. This just looks like a, like a cream color. And I actually like this. Whoops. So it's not so much like a color, it's kind of like a, a nudish color, which I mean, I like, I think it's cute. So yeah, so that's this palette. I, there's a lot of colors here that I know I'm going to use. The thing about this is I have so many palettes, so many palettes. And I use different palettes for different colors. Sometimes if I know, oh, I want to have like a smoky eye, then I'm like, oh, I need this palette. But I need this color from this palette, and I need this color from this palette. Well, as you guys know, which I'm pretty sure I've talked about before, I'm going to Vegas next weekend. I know I'm going to be using a lot of different colors. And I could honestly say that this is like the only palette I'm going to be bringing. Like this is all I need. Aside from my makeup stuff, as far as eyeshadows, smoky eyes, light eyes, pretty eyes, outside eyes, pool eyes, this is all I need. So I'm really excited about this. And then the fact that it's like super cute and super small and will just fit right in my bag. It even fits in my purse. I have experienced with that before. It's exciting because I can just pop it in and I'm so ready to go. So I'm ready to use it over there. If anybody else that I'm going to be with needs it too, totally will be happy to do their makeup. I'll probably take my brush set, which is the one that I just um, 
purchased online on Amazon. I'll probably do a review on this too. It's a 32 piece brush set and it's like this. So, I mean, even this, they're like almost the same size. So, like, that's really all I need. And then my makeup, I could just take my regular makeup bag and fit all my stuff that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and going home Monday. So, of course, you know, I'll have enough. So, um, pretty much that's it. I know my friend said for this, she had a hard time trying to get it. A couple of months ago, she looked on QVC, Sephora, online, everywhere, and couldn't find it. I got this probably right before Christmas, which I was really happy about. However, um, no, it wouldn't even make sense because my sister that gave me this lives up north, but it wouldn't matter because she could the other girl couldn't find it anywhere. So even if it was shipped to you. I mean, I'm sure now it's different. There was probably a high demand around Christmas time. Um, so yeah, this is the Hello Kitty palette. And I really recommend this item, especially if you're a Hello Kitty lover like me. You would really like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to talking to you soon.